everybody, welcome back to my channel. Hey. So basically today I'm going to be giving you guys my top five favorite hippie exploitation films on YouTube that you can watch right now. So just a fair warning before I get into it, I have two little side notes. One is that these movies do have themes of drugs and sex and anything your parents wouldn't want you to watch. So if you are younger or you are sensitive to those kinds of things, definitely maybe this isn't the video for you. And second of all, these are just movies on YouTube. Um, I have a lot more movies that I love uh, that are hippie movies so if you guys want another video just listing my top five favorite hippie movies I definitely could do a video on that but I just wanted to do a video where these movies are read readily available to you so I chose the ones that are all on YouTube so if you want another video saying just my top five favorite of all time I can do that but anyways here we go <laughs> For those of you who don't know what a hippie exploitation movie is, uh, I'll give you a very basic rundown. It's basically just in the 60s when hippie culture was like all happening and like was the main cool thing going on. Um, a bunch of movie people wanted to exploit it for money. So that's why it's called hippie exploitation films. The first film I'm going to be talking about today is the movie Psych Out with Jack Nicholson row right you might be like wait why is somebody as famous and as rich as jack nicholson in a hippie movie in the 60s and to that i say jack nicholson was a humongous hippie and nobody cares and it makes me like like sometimes i genuinely like think about like i'm like wait jack nicholson was a literal hippie like fun facts <laughs> this is an interesting fact like he literally wrote some of the movies that i'm going to be showing you today but that's neither here nor there anyways i think i want to roll rant about how jack nicholson was a hippie but like, i'm not going to like, one eternity later. Okay, but enough about Jack Nicholson. In my opinion, this movie would probably be like the quintessential hippie exploitation film. I feel like it's just it embodies everything that's in hippie exploitation movies. The drugs, the party, the etc. The plot is like uh, you know, it's it's fluffy. There's nothing like super major about it. It's about uh, this deaf girl who moves to hate Ashbury in search of her brother and finds these hippies and parties and boo 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 boo. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's really cool. And if I have never seen a hippie uh, exploitation film before, this would be the first one that I would watch. And I would recommend to somebody who's never watched one before. So definitely check it out. The next movie I'm going to be talking about is Wild in the Streets, and this movie is literally nuts. Like, don't get me, like, it's actually nuts. It's probably one of my favorite hippie exploitation films, just for the fact that it has um, a lot of deeper themes, I would say, than... Um, other hippie exploitation films like take for instance psych out it's more so a fun movie it's more so like whoa drugs hee 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 whereas wild in the streets has more of a political commentary in my opinion but let me tell you what it's about before i get into all that uh wild in the streets is about this uh rock star uh max frost and he uh, basically takes over the country <laughs> with a bunch of hippies. Like every hippie in the country revolts against old people <laughs> and they take over the government and he becomes the president and they want to make the voting age 14. And it, it's basically about youth culture taking over like the older generation. That's basically what it, it all comes down to. And it's just the freakiest movie ever and I love it so much so definitely check it out period the next movie I'm going to be talking about is the Lovins and the Lovins movie is basically just one huge stab at Timothy Leary so if you know who Timothy Leary is when you watch this movie you're gonna be like bro damn and um, and in essence, The Lovins, uh, it has all the makings of a hippie exploitation film, the drugs, the parties, uh, you know, all that jazz. But what makes it different is in the end, it's actually anti-drug, <laughs> which is like, 
a turn that I wasn't expecting, but Lahayam. And that, but I, that wasn't really a spoiler because it kind of runs through the whole movie, like you'll say. Um, but yeah, fun facts. And if you know who Timothy Leary is, you're gonna be like, damn, they are just adding him right now. They literally just had a guy play Timothy Leary without saying that it was Timothy Leary, <laughs> like, for real. So, um, check that out. The next movie I'm going to be talking about is Alice's Restaurant, and in my opinion, this movie is like an absolute classic. Um, if you guys don't know what Alice's Restaurant is, like, you guys need to listen to classic rock radio around Thanksgiving time because Alice's Restaurant is a song by Arlo Guthrie and uh, they play it about every Thanksgiving because it's about uh, Arlo going to the Thanksgiving dinner and it's like this whole crazy fun story. Basically. Like, I mean, it's deeper than that, but that's just what I'm getting at. And so then they made the movie of the song and Alice's Restaurant is the movie. And it is so fun it is such a fun movie i love alice's restaurant and first of all okay can i just say arlo guthrie like i have the biggest crush on him in this movie and nobody can tell me any differently like he is a snack and a half like i would snack on him and i could give you the plot for the movie like i could tell you what happens but like if you listen to the song before then you know but if you don't know it's just him going to like eh. How do I put it? He has this friend, Alice. And, like, they live in a, and Alice lives in a church with her, like, a husband, fiance thing, and then, Al, like, Arlo's friends with Alice, and then Alice hates her husband, but then he's like, I'm going to Thanksgiving dinner and you're cooking, and she's like, I love you! And, uh... Just watch it if you like hippie movies. It's a good movie. <laughs> That's basically what I'm getting at. The last movie I'm going to be talking about is The Trip. And The Trip is is exactly what it sounds like. It's about a trip. And um, there really isn't too much of a plot, genuinely. It focuses more so on visuals and uh, visuals and like aesthetics and things like that, rather than like actually focusing on like a main point or goal. And it was written by Jack Nicholson. Fun facts, in case anybody cares. Um, I would say it's another quintessential hippie exploitation films. It has all the makings. It's freaky. It's weird. I love it. Uh, check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'm going to be including at the end uh, a little like a screen that shows a few more hippie movies that I love, but these were just the ones that I felt like everybody should probably watch as their first hippie exploitation films if you've never seen any before and you really want to get into them. Those were, I would say, like, the first you should get into, and then the ones I'll show you at the end are just, like, movies that I like that are on YouTube, too. So thank you guys so much for watching. Love you. See you in the next one. Goodbye.